In a small town in Spain, Vicente enters the grocery and steals a bunch of bottles by hiding them inside his jacket, while outside his son Ian uses his special power to make illusions, causing the clerk not to notice the theft. Vicente leaves after making a small purchase and Ian keeps the illusion up while his dad looks for their truck, however a group of cute girls walk by and call Ian a freak, distracting him and causing him to drop the illusion. In the store, the clerk discovers the missing bottles and grabs her hammer to come after Vicente, so Ian catches her in an illusion again by pretending he has a gun in his hand. However this doesn't make the clerk stop and Ian panics, causing him to accidentally shoot the lady. As the woman falls, a flash of her memories passes through Ian's eyes and police sirens can be heard nearby. Vicente drags Ian away in the truck and when the cop checks on the lady, the wound is gone. As Vicente speeds the truck down the road the cops chase after them, so Ian turns the mirror to use his power and reflect it back at the police cars, making them think they're taking a different road as Vicente scolds him for it. When they drive too far, the illusion breaks and the cops catch up to them again, restarting the chase. Ian argues with his dad, not understanding why they should lay low when they could be rich with just a simple trick. Vicente refuses to give in, saying it would catch their attention but not answering Ian when he asks who is they. By the time they make it to the beach, Ian releases a bigger illusion that makes the cop think they're in a hailstorm. The cop sees the hail damaging his car and the strong wind suddenly makes it flip, dragging it all the way to a gas station. There the officer finally sees it's all okay. This whole incident is on security cameras and soon reaches the mysterious Dr. Adriana. The next morning, the duo are on the abandoned ship where they secretly live. Ian dreams about his dead mother singing to him when he was a baby, and when she suddenly screams, Ian wakes up feeling disturbed. Vicente makes a special birthday breakfast for Ian and shows him a picture of his mom, taken the day he discovered his powers. Then Ian wants to go to the arcade so he can have a normal teenage birthday, but Vicente forbids it. Furious, Ian goes to his room to let out his anger on the training dummy, but after lots of hitting, he escapes through the window. In town, the cop tells the bartender about the hail he saw and this is overheard by the perceiver, who uses his power to knock the cop down. Later in the evening, a special team surrounds the ship and gets inside while Vicente is distracted by the TV. Adriana reveals herself, saying she's come with the agency and treating Vicente like an old friend. She wants to know about Ian and they hit Vicente to make him talk, but at that moment they get a message from other agents with Ian's location. Meanwhile Ian is at the arcade and the perceiver arrives looking for him, and so do two agents. The perceiver pushes one of them behind a curtain and easily beats him up before using his radio with a fake voice to tell Adriana there's a perceiver in the area. Adriana immediately tells all her agents this is their new priority. Then the perceiver keeps looking for Ian, who is hiding behind a table. The other agency agent opens fire on him but the perceiver just walks away and appears behind the agent, revealing this is an illusion. The agent goes after the fake perceiver while the real raises his hand to try to trick Ian, but suddenly an agency agent puts a helmet on him to block his powers. The perceiver pushes the man back and starts fighting him in a dark room, then he throws the agent through a wall and finds himself surrounded by a whole team, but he keeps fighting them without breaking a sweat while ignoring the VR players around them. Once all the agents are down, the perceiver takes off the helmet and goes looking for Ian. In the meantime Ian is approached by Esther and another agent, who take Ian outside. Adriana is waiting for him in a van and says there are more people like him before showing him they've kidnapped Vicente, so Ian comes along. However when he gets inside the van, they immediately tie him up and put a helmet on him before taking a blood sample. By the time the perceiver comes out, the van is gone, so he goes down the street and creates an illusion of a stroller to make a truck suddenly stop and cause an accident. The van driver considers stopping, but Adriana tells him to keep going, revealing that the truck was an illusion too. Moments later, Ian wakes up in the agency facility, and Adriana tells him their history. The agency is an organization that is at war against the conscience, a group formed by people with the same abilities as Ian. They've been controlling people in power for years, that's why it doesn't matter what political party wins, the country stays the same. The agency wants to stop them and recover real democracy. Adriana explains the perceiver will want Ian to join him or he'll kill him, so she asks the boy to work with her instead. She also wants the formula in Ian's blood because it could block the enemy's powers. Then Adriana wonders what Ian can project and mentions various things like people, but Ian explains he's tried and creating the illusion of a person is impossible, which Adriana denies. She gives Ian a test that he considers too hard, so she explains that his powers are controlled by strong emotions. By showing Ian a picture of his mother and mentioning his sad childhood, Ian manages to create the illusion Adriana wanted, they're on a huge beach and an annoying fly flies around her. Next, Adriana asks him to bring her back to reality but to keep the fly in a loop, which is the name they give permanent illusions. However Ian ends the illusion and demands to see his father. Adriana takes Ian to see Vicente, who tells him to be careful because the agency will just experiment on him, but Adriana explains Ian can look into his father's memories to find out the truth, which is his second power. Ian enters his father's mind and sees a young Vicente working for the agency. When everyone got distracted by a sudden alarm, he took the chance to kidnap baby Ian. Adriana found him and tried to stop him, 
But Vicente fought the guards off and ran away. Back in the present, Vicente passes out as Ian lets go of him and becomes upset to realize Vicente isn't his real father. Adriana confirms this but also reveals his mother could possibly still be alive. Afterward, Adriana shows the blood test results to the American, who wants to know how Ian got his powers. Adriana explains he got them from his parents, which they had thought impossible because perceivers were supposed to be sterile. Ian is the first person who was born as one. The American orders Adriana to get the formula and get rid of Ian, but she refuses, pointing out that Ian has the potential to awaken the third power and be their only defense against the mule. However the American considers the mule to be a myth. Sometime later, a doctor checks Ian's test results and smirks when he discovers his neuron factor is 204%. Meanwhile Esther approaches Ian in his room and tells him he's nothing but a lab rat, so she offers him to escape. They make it downstairs only to suddenly be surrounded by guards, but Esther fights them all with a baton, a taser, an incredible skill. In just a couple of minutes, all the agents are unconscious, and the duo tries to leave. However Ian says they should bring Vicente too because his memories have the answers he's seeking. While the duo takes Vicente away and looks for a car outside, Adriana finally notices the escape and rings the alarm. The agents run outside to open fire but Ian drives as fast as possible while arguing with Vicente over his lies. Inside the lab, the doctor from before suddenly steals a gun and shoots everyone in the room before checking the security cameras while revealing he's actually the perceiver. On his way out, Ian uses his powers to make the guards shoot in a different direction. When they reach the mountain road, Ian's crazy driving causes the car to get off the road and crash. Seconds later, the perceiver stops by and Ian uses his powers to make him believe there's nothing there, but the perceiver smiles before leaving. Afterward, the trio manages to find a motel to hide in. The next morning, Ian and Esther spend some time together on the roof before returning to the room, where they discover Vicente has passed out after drinking. Ian still wants his answers, so he enters his father's mind again. In the memory, Ian sees Adriana holding a file that belonged to patient Kaminsky, who would be soon transferred to Poland. Then she checked the van outside and told the driver that the formula would be injected tonight. Ian tries looking around and sees that behind the driver there's a masked person missing three fingers, such shock makes Ian lose the connection. Moments later, Ian goes to the bank and gives the clerk a random piece of paper while using an illusion so she thinks it's a check he wants to cash. The clerk gives him the money and as Ian gets out, she notices the check is just a note and calls for security. Luckily Ian meets with Esther and they manage to run away fast enough to lose them. Back in the motel, Esther has fun making the cash fly all over the room before getting in the shower, but Ian is worried because Vicente isn't there. At that moment he hears someone park outside, so he tells Esther to stay hidden and then prepares an illusion. When the perceiver comes inside, he finds an abandoned room, but he immediately sees the truth by uncovering a mirror because illusions don't affect it. Ian and the perceiver immediately begin fighting while the illusions keep shifting, and Ian tries to use Esther's taser and even a chair to no avail. They fight for a while until the perceiver pushes Ian against the wall and after glancing at the bathroom, he looks into Ian's memories. It turns out he went to the bank for money because he wants to travel to Poland and find the scientist that made the experiment. Ian passes out when the perceiver drops him, and the man just leaves. Moments later, Ian is dreaming of his mother again until he's woken up by Vicente, who scolds him because the bank robbery is a big story in the city now. Ian says it's Vicente's fault for lying to him and keeps calling him by his name instead of dad. An argument ensues and Vicente tells Ian he has two options, he can either continue down this path that will only bring him pain, or he can leave with Vicente. Ian chooses to go to Poland without him. Meanwhile Adriana and the American keep track of the serial numbers on the cash Ian stole and discover he's bought train tickets. Sometime later, Ian and Esther arrive in Poland and immediately go searching for the lab. There are agents waiting for them nearby, but the perceiver kills them all with a few shots. When the duo finds the lab, it's an old abandoned building, and Ian quickly sees the room from his dreams. However he swears it should be bigger, so he starts tapping on the walls until he hears a hollow sound. Ian immediately breaks the wall and finds a hidden room filled with cabinets and documents. There's a notebook with the title Project Awareness and inside there's a picture of his mother that makes him think of their time together again. Esther reads the back of the photograph and they learn that the scientist behind the experiments is Ian's grandfather, who used his own daughter for this. Meanwhile Vicente goes back to his ship and is suddenly visited by Adriana, who tells Vicente that he should stop drinking and become a real father. Back to Ian, he suddenly discovers that Esther has brought the perceiver inside, saying she's helping Ian get the answers he wanted. Ian refuses to listen and takes out a gun, but the perceiver knows it's an illusion and walks right through him. As the perceiver looks around, he keeps finding copies of Ian, and soon he's surrounded by a bunch of them. He knows they're all illusions and looks at Esther, who points at where the real Ian is. The perceiver corners the real Ian with his own gun and drops shocking news, he's Ian's real father. During the Cold War, a scientist created a formula that he injected into a bunch of volunteers, including his daughter and the perceiver. This gave them special powers and they became spies capable of mental tricks. 
However, after the war was over, the government didn't know what to do with them and was afraid these spies would work for the enemy, so they decided to kill them all one by one. They were starting to lose hope when suddenly the mule showed up. The mule is the last and most powerful of the perceivers, and when they tried to kill him too, he revealed he could use the third power, mind control. This power allowed him to make the enemies kill each other or even self-delete. Afterward the mule gathered the survivors and formed the conscience, through which everyone learned to hide their powers and live a normal life. They called him the mule because he was sterile, in fact all perceivers are supposed to be. Ian's mother and the perceiver hadn't used protection because of this and one day she simply got pregnant, which was considered a miracle. Ian is the only perceiver born naturally. At that moment, agents begin to enter the building and are heard by the perceiver, who tells Esther to take the boy to his house in Madrid. While the duo takes the stairs, the perceiver fights the agents. First he shoots them all without hesitation and kills a good amount of them, but they keep coming so the perceiver begins using illusions of spiders to distract them and shoot them faster. Unfortunately two men still surprise him from behind and capture him with the helmet. Meanwhile the duo comes across some agents as well, but Esther easily beats them up in a matter of seconds, even using their own weapons to kill them. Then she and Ian run to the roof, where Esther shows off her skills by making a super cool jump and landing perfectly. Ian hesitates, but at that moment more agents show up, so he slides down a tunnel and runs away with Esther. Sometime later, the perceiver is being held at the agency's lab. After sending a robot to take a sample of his blood, they activate the machine to study his body which puts him through lots of pain. The American orders Adriana to stop because this will kill him and they need him, but Adriana ignores him. However the perceiver is shaking and groaning with so much pain that Adriana has no choice but to stop the experiment. Minutes later, a scientist brings Adriana bad news, the formula is so diluted in the perceiver's body that they can't recover it. Adriana shares the news with the American, saying Ian is their only hope. When the perceiver is feeling better, he asks for some water, and the robot brings him a glass. At that moment the perceiver reveals he has the third power and through the camera on the robot, he takes control of the technician's mind and makes him activate the robot's weaponry, killing all the scientists and agents watching him. Then the perceiver makes the technician release him. In Madrid, Esther and Ian arrive at the perceiver's house, and the housekeeper receives him with a huge surprise. Ian's mother is alive, but she's in a catatonic state because of the experiments. As Ian comes closer, the perceiver also arrives and tells him his mother isn't completely gone, a tiny part of her mind is still stuck inside her. Ian enters her mind and when they meet again in her memories, her real body starts shaking. Soon the perceiver joins them and shows Ian the memories of the terrible torture his mother went through because of the agency. However before she was captured, she inserted a memory in Ian's mind so he'd have access to the formula, which is represented by the toys. The perceiver wants the formula to make new people with powers, but when he tries to approach the toys, he's stopped by an invisible wall. Ian realizes his mother doesn't want anyone to get the formula, but the perceiver keeps hitting the invisible wall and this causes great damage to her. This pain kicks everyone out of her mind, and back in reality, Ian sings his childhood song for his mother before she dies. At that moment, a bunch of agents surround the house and break into the room. Ian is in a terrible emotional state after losing his mother and finally awakens the third power, allowing him to control the agents and make them knock each other out in just a few seconds. Then Ian goes looking for more agents and this time, he actually makes them shoot each other to death, smiling at the bloodstains while ignoring Esther's concerns. The agents get scared and go outside to rejoin Adriana. Ian follows them and makes them fall to their knees with their guns ready for self-deletion. Suddenly Vicente shows up to tell Ian that the perceiver is manipulating him and that he shouldn't be responsible for a massacre because he'll regret it later. The perceiver throws a gun at the floor and tells Ian to kill Vicente too, but Ian just wants revenge against his agency. Vicente yells at the perceiver for calling himself Ian's father when he never raised him, and the perceiver retaliates by shooting Vicente. This shocks Ian into dropping his control over the group and runs to check on Vicente while the perceiver takes Esther away. With his last energy, Vicente asks Ian to enter his mind, knowing that he won't survive it. The memory shows how it was his mother who asked Vicente to take the baby away to save him, so Ian apologizes to Vicente and calls him dad again. They hug and then watch one of their beloved memories fishing together before Vicente's body gives in and dies. After saying goodbye to his dad, Ian grabs the gun and goes looking for the perceiver, who is hiding at a party in a neighboring building. Ian follows Esther's voice and uses his powers to drop the partygoers to the floor, revealing the perceiver holding Esther at gunpoint. A mental fight begins between Ian and the Perceiver as they try to take control of the gun, but Ian doesn't fully dominate his powers yet and the Perceiver regains control of his hand. Then the Perceiver begins controlling the crowd to make them attack Ian, who does his best to protect himself against multiple attacks. He uses a tray as a shield yet he keeps getting overpowered, but soon this desperate state allows him to tap into the third power and begins fighting the enemy more easily, knocking them down with the help of a few bottles. The Perceiver just keeps sending people, and the last one is so strong that grabs Ian by the neck and almost kills him. Luckily Adriana shows up and shoots the guy in the head. Afterward Ian asks the perceiver not to hurt Esther, 
But Adriana points out there's nobody else there, meaning the perceiver put a loop inside Ian's head. As Ian begins going through his own memories, he realizes he actually did all the things he saw Esther do and the perceiver put the loop in his mind when he first saw him in the arcade. Ian cries as he feels betrayed again, but Esther says her feelings for him are real. Panicking, Ian shoots Esther, but the bullet goes through her and kills the perceiver instead. Esther runs to Ian and they share a hug. Sometime later, Ian arranges for his mother's and Vicente's bodies to have graves in the cemetery. Adriana visits them as well and asks Ian to choose a side, saying she really needs the formula, but Ian refuses to join the war and leaves with Esther to start a new life. Then Ian gets in the truck and he and Esther finally kiss. Before they leave, Ian looks at Adriana, who is talking to the American. However the man doesn't appear in the truck mirror, meaning she's got a loop in her head too. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.